Hey Clashes, Queen Charge Lalo said the most used strategy in High Legends, even though we have gotten a new level for Hog Riders and we have the addition of the Super Hog Riders, for whatever reason, people like their Queen Charge Lalo. It is still the most flexible, still one of the most strongest, but as well one of the hardest strategies at Tunnel 15. If you take a look at this graphic right here, you can see the number four strategy of the most used strategies in High Legends is the Queen Charge Lalo above Queen Charge Super Hog Riders or Queen Charge Hogs. So I thought let's just bring it to the to the Legend League and let's bring it to some attacks and let's give it a try. Okay, we have one of those super heavy teaser bases um, where I feel like the Town Hall is really well protected. I think we should start around the Town Hall with our Queen, one Headhunter there. Then I think I want to delay the heaters because this should give us a better angle. And now the question is, what else can we do? We could use the flame flinger from the bottom side or from the right side. Both might be options. Let's just double check. There is actually a Tesla. Okay. Now the flame flinger here. Now let's concentrate on our queen. Turn her invisible. Then rage her up. And make sure that we're not catching any black mines whatsoever. At the same time, we need to be super... Oh no. Super careful. Wait a second. Why are those skeletons running away? What? What is... Now they're coming back. What was their mission? I'm not really sure what is going on, but either way, I think so far we're looking good. The Queen should charge behind the tunnel, so that's good for us. Um, then I think our next step... Ooh, turn invisible. But I think that should be okay. The heaters are getting pushed back, which is good for us. And then hopefully the Queen is going to go for the town hall next. So we need to freeze that. I will just freeze it just in, uh, in case. Freeze... Nice. Now we need to be super careful with that monolith. Um, I think King now here to distract that scatter shot and get our queen some damage off. I think that should be pretty good. The flame thing are doing an incredible work. Let's freeze that. Wait a second. Why is that scatter on my heaters? That kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Okay, King ability, and now we ladder from the bottom side, just like that. Remember, we still have the Flame Flinger, and since we're not using any, I don't know, like, Yetis or whatsoever, so we should have a really good and really solid push with the, oh, with the Dragon Rider from that. Now I think we're going to rage into the back end, Warn ability right now, and now we need to make sure that we're just overpowering the back end. We have two more Headhunters to take down the Defending Queen. That should be a good thing for us. Let's haste that. Dragon Rider is in. Headhunters for the Defending Queen, just in case. And I think we should have enough power for the back end. And that's always the crazy thing. I think Queen Charge Lalo attacks, they are... They, those are a few of those attacks which... I don't know, they, they just are so insanely hard to pull off. And the Room of Arrow is just so small that I'm really always so surprised to see so many people using it in High Legends. But... You have so much control. I guess if you're failing, most of the time it's up to you, um, which is, I think, always a bit different, or it feels a bit different with other strategies, where it always feels like some way of randomness is in there. But I mean, Queen Charge Lalo, it's just it's just the king of Queen Charges, and I feel like that's for a long time, and I'm not sure if that will ever change. But let's just move on to the next attack. Oh, actually, the anti three star bases. So far, we have not gotten one of those toxic ring bases. But we have already a rage tower right here, which is like always a nightmare in my opinion to charge. But how do we do this? We have a single fern tower and a monolith behind the tunnel. So typically I try to avoid charging that. What are our other options? Oh, I think I have something. So what we could do on this one is charge that multi fern tower. And then use the flame flinger to take down the scatter shot. First off, we need to double check if there's any Tesla. No Tesla right there, which is good for us. Now let's start with that flame flinger. Okay. And then, I mean, hopefully my queen is going to go inside that multi inferno tower compartment. Otherwise, we might have to turn um, things invisible. So she's going inside. I think we actually have to. Let's just turn that invisible. Queen, please go inside, please go inside. And we need to be super careful with the Rage Tower. Let's just freeze that. I'm just super safe in this one. Those Rage Scatter Shots. I would just take one just to show you. That is insane. One defense. It's crazy. Let's freeze that. 
Okay, let's rage it up again. The scatter shot should be taken care of in just a second. The queen should keep going towards the bottom side. Or actually, are we keep wall break? No. If we wall break her into the core, that's where the single front tower and the monolith is. So instead, I want my queen to go towards the eagle. I feel like that is the best thing for us to happen. Maybe what we could do... Yeah, let's do this. So we're forcing the queen into the channel to get the multi front tower. That might be a good thing to do. Now maybe final right here, so the king is going to go for the eagle because the queen cannot reach it. But maybe the queen is going to go for the eagle anyways, but it wouldn't be too bad. It's just, oh, she's actually going in, so that's sort of fine. Use the first wall break. Maybe we get some lucky wall breaks towards the dead zone. That's at least what I'm hoping for. Come on, wall break. Yes, go down, go down. Yeah, it's, it worked out kinda, kinda, right? Let's now double check. hope my queen stays al Do I have to use something here? Please, no. Ooh, okay, queen ability is forced. That's fine. King ability now as well. Let's now use that rage. And now we have to start the Lalo into the town, I think. We really have to now multitask to get this right. Okay. Lalo has started. I think I will add the Royal Gem on the outside as well. Just like that. Another rage. Brace here. Multi uh, warn ability around the town hall. Okay, that's now going to be a really tricky back end. Already some cleanup. Remember, we have started really late. So we need to be super careful. But quite a few didn't survive, actually. Royal ability, though, is not there anymore. Wizard, cleanup. One loon, maybe, for the back end. The Hawk Rider as well, I guess. Everything just in for cleanup and everything. I think we're looking still fine, aren't we? Maybe Royal Champion should come over. No, that's it. I mean, that worked way better than I expected. Oh my goodness. But this kind of shows you how creative you can get with this strategy. And this is why so many top players are using this strategy in High Legends. And it feels like it's mainly pros just practicing for matches, practicing their routine. But there's a reason why all of the pros are playing this strategy. It's one of the, I think, top three hardest strategies right now in the game to pull off. But it is just so strong if you can actually control everything. Another teaser base. So what exactly are we going to do versus this one? Do we have nice flame flinger value? Maybe on the far side. Maybe on the flank. I think the flank might be the better option. I think we're pretty much going to do the exact same thing. But this time we can walk around the tunnel in the beginning. So we don't have to worry about that, which is good for us. Then we're going to use the flinger right here. We'll obviously try to scout for traps. No traps, I think. Then we're going to use the heater in just a second. Maybe... Few loons on that side to take down the cannon for better pathing. And now the healers. I have to be really careful with like air traps and stuff, but now let's rage that queen. Kinda have to, I think. Wait a second, why there there's so many air traps? Okay, okay. At this point the base is kinda symmetrical, so I don't care where my queen is going. I would like her to go more towards the bottom side because I feel like that's better working together with the flame finger. But it's like not the end of the world if that is not happening. Wall break now. More test loons. Rage it up again. And I don't know how you feel about it, but I think we have right now there's not that many people being crazy enough to play queen charges. Which is kinda cool because queen charges feel less less often baited, if that makes sense. So yeah. I mean the king. I have I think I have an idea what I'm going to do with my king. Right, the king up again. Looking good. So we can wall break the king in here, I think. To take damage off my queen because take a look at that. There's just so much damage on my queen. That poor little queen. At least she's in the rage. That's something positive. Flame flinger as well. We're actually as well tanking the martyr with that, which is another nice thing for us to happen. Um King ability maybe now. So we can tank. The next mortar as well. We need to keep going. 1 minute 20. That's typically the time where you should really start with your ladder. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's just do it from this side. As well, I really want to show... I mean, I'm not the best ladder taker, right? So for me, it's most of the time more like a loon wall, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, you don't have to play perfect ladder for this to, to work. But it's obviously always better if you really get this ladder right. Now we can use the vulnerability as we're approaching the back end. Um, what I'm, I mean that scatter is getting tanked as well, so things are looking really good for us. We have still the invisibility spell left. We have a lot of cleanup troops still left, so that's 
Looking good. Warden ability at this point, I guess, with the multi inferno tower being there. We only have to worry about the back end. Maybe I can war break. Nah, that war break isn't really working as intended, but that should be alright. Clean up headhunters, always the best headhunters. And then we can use, I um, mean, yeah, at this point, just the queen ability, royal champ ability. And that should be it for us. Let's go. Let's go. Another three stuff for us. I mean, that's what you love to see, right? Lo those Caesar bases are incredible to attack. But overall, really, really strong strategy. It is the best strategy regarding queen charges at the moment. Still, surprisingly enough, even though only the healers have gotten a new level, right? Like, Dragon Riders did not get a new level from the clan castle. Um, Loons did not get a new level. Lava Hound did not, not, did not get a new level. So, really surprising. But it's still, I mean, it's Lalo is always king, but it's just so hard to execute. But if you're looking for... Testing it out, trying it out. Feel free to use the link down below in the description because that's where you can find the strategy link. And well, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next video. Until then, see ya and bye-bye.